be hip to something. When you make love, make it. Oh, some of you brothers and sisters, holdouts. Ah, the scene of the Alva Nunez Cabeza de Vaca. He's a soldier for Ferdinand I of Spain, and he was sent to the New World after Bullion, and he flipped. He said to you, to, in order to know what it means to have nothing, you must have nothing! <laughs> And that's what he had in spades. <laughs> through the story, he gave me the knowledge of the healing of the hand. And uh, I want you to dig it deeply and get your feet. I'll just straighten it out a little bit for you. He met an Indian chief who was starving to death. They were starving to death. He said they thought he was a white god. So they said, well, we'll be very happy to help you if you straighten out the chief's boyfriend. He's had no trouble. He's going to sit in the door with his back to the street and, you know, turn him around. So, uh, he didn't know anything about making an appeal, but he fell back on his knees and he made a connection that shook the peninsula. <laughs> I'm telling you, oh, he moved him. Well, here's where it goes down here. Now you heard about Vasco da Gama, the island bumper. He was a history cat with a big fast press agent. He'd say, the Gamma Bump Island number one, boom, put it in the book. The Gamma Bump Island number two, boom, put it in the book. But there was another cat jumping at the same time that had a lean press agent that capped his first cap to shreds. And they called him Alva Nunez K. Beza de Vaca the Gassa. <laughs> and he was a warrior stud for Ferdinand I of Spain. And Ferdinand I of Spain was a balling king. He likes to see the juice drinking in the good time going in the chicks jumping. And he's can on cat all the time. He's the kind of a stud that stick his head wig out of the castle window in the early bride and say, Look at Prince Liberty this morning. She looked pretty cuckoo today. So give that chick another castle. Say, We ain't got no more castles, Your Majesty. He say, Build a one. Don't stand there like an idiot. <laughs> As a consequence, he's a little short of cash. So it was Alva Nunez K. Beza de Vaca, the gases, misfortune to go with the square captain on a three-ship convoy, ran into a short tilt on the far side and blew the whole gig on the beach in Florida in 1510. And Florida in 1510 was Crocodile City. You couldn't sit stupid Scott. It snap, snap, snapping all over the place. And every bug in the jungle is dive bombing these bull cats. And the ones that ain't dive bombing them is hitchhiking rides on them. And they're beat, bent, flopped, trapped, and digged. Okay, so if you don't know what that means, that means no job. <laughs> It's a bit of a bad thing, you know that. <laughs> so it was Alvar Nunez, Cabeza de Vaca, the gasser. A buddy cat and a maw and a parrot, and the parrot had the best go the whole lick. He had that feather overcoat. The other poor studs didn't even have a Union oil map, but they went stomping down the beach. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they didn't know where they was going, but they knew where they was, wasn't it? <laughs> so to show you how hung up they was, they stomped all over Texas. <laughs> then they turned around and stomped all the way to North Dakota in 1510. And then they turned around and stomped all the way to Mexico City. And when he got to Mexico City, Alba Nunez K. Beza de Vaca the Gasa sat down to knock a note on Ferdinand I to hit him where he'd been goofing all this time. <laughs> Only took him eight years. <laughs> little Sunday afternoon flip, you know. <laughs> so he says, your majesty is writing a letter. He said, I've suffered from pavement rash. He said, I've been billed, willed, and twilled. He said, I've been flung, wanged, and loomed. He said, I've been hung up and jammed up and framed up and backed up and stacked up and macked up and racked up. But he said, I'll never dug no jazz like this last riff you put me on. <laughs> He said, my buddy cats and me was in such a sad bind, we were breathing in stock to keep the pilot light lit. 
and said, just about ready to give up the whole gig, and they ran into Indian village. The guys would say, well, I'll go in here and sound the chief and get a couple of buckets of egg on and say, we might not find out where we is, but we'll be able to find out who we is. That'll help a little bit. Say that. Right. <laughs> Well, as soon as he got that out, and here come the chief. He said, ah, me say, your, your big God, me know. You come big ship, he got white wing, he go sky. Would you come? You got good miracle wing. Me got body cat. He have little couple 17 crocodile. Okay, you good, you miracle wing. You got big wing. You fix him up, put him on the feet. Me give you a couple of buckets of acorn, maybe two or three squaw, okay? He ain't even slipped the cat in the bisco up to now. And the cat that he's asking to get straightened out is in very delicate condition indeed. <laughs> he's not on the razor's edge. He's on the horn of the stone. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't call him Alva Nunez Quebeza de Vaca La Gasa for nothing. He fell down on on his knees, and he said, Lord, this is Alva, Nunez, Cavez, at the back of the gas, the son of Lord. No use in looking for me in the book, you won't find me there, Lord. I've been blown for 49 the first in another part of the field, Lord. He said, I know that you're busy. I can see your switchboard is lit up with calls all over the world. Help me here, straighten me this, do that, do that. He said, I wouldn't be sound you now, Lord, if I wasn't in such a serious bind, Lord. But if you do me this little favor, Lord, and straighten out the cheese body cat, Lord, though I never blowed a note for you before in my life, Lord, you've got yourself a boy. He looked around the corner of his eyes. Had a tough run up that ladder, didn't I? He looked around the corner of his eyes and he saw the man he was praying for stand up and said, What time do we eat? <laughs> and he blew about 200 beautiful miracles right across the land. There was even one stud under a rug for four days, put the gas on him, huh? blew him up. <laughs> this is history. Dig this jazz. And it's beautiful jazz. And Alvar Nunez Quebeza de Vaca, the gas has said at the end of the letter. He said right at the end of his letter, he said, Your Majesty, I'm hip at your great swinging tune with a fat book. He said, I want to knock a page on it. He said, I found out on this expedition that there is a great power within that when used in beauty and immaculate purity can cure and heal and cause miracles. And he said, when you use it, it spreads like a magic garden. And when you do not use it, it recedes from you. Alva Nunez, Quebeza, De Baca, the Gassa, 1500 and leaping 10. <laughs>